This is Captain Soban of the fleet, Farron Shah. We have arrived in Sector 112 and request targeting data. Hello everyone, this is Captain Soban. Welcome aboard the Starship at Normal Prize for another episode of Free Space, where we are playing, um, we're using the Free Space open software to play the original Free Space during the Great War. Okay, so before we actually get going, got a couple announcements. First one, um, in case you guys are unaware, I am one of the backers to Era 1, which means that once the um, dev builds are available, I will be receiving them and we will be um, showcasing them on the channel. For now, it, the uh, uh, Era 1 is currently still in its uh, financial stage and the, uh, the backing stage. So I don't think the first dev build will be available till like the first week of March. So it's going to be a while before we actually cover that video. But like I said, I am one of the backers and as soon as one of the dev builds are available, I will be uh, testing it and recording it for you guys. And uh, the other announcement is some of you guys were wondering how I got the uh, um, the voice pack or the voice uh, voices working in this game because some of you messaged me saying, I was unaware there's voices in this mod. How did you get that going? But one, you guys have to download the, the free space mod, obviously, and then you have to attach that to um, your free space 2 game, which the mod tells you how to do that. It's in the readme. And then you want to download uh, the free space uh, port media VP. And then you want to go into the options. Once that's done downloading, go to modify. And then there should be an option somewhere in there that's called voice. Activate that, it'll download it, and then you'll have voices in your game. And then you can download the other um, uh, media VP files to get like voice acting in the briefing room and voice acting in the game and stuff like that. But you have to have that voice option checkmarked and downloaded in order for voices to work. That took me a while to figure out. And of course, I had help from the, uh, um, the hard. Oh, crap. Of course, I had help from the hard light, hard light production team um, to help me get that set up. So I'm just. Helping you guys out so you can experience these mods uh, to their fullest. Because they're cool. The voice acting really adds another a layer of immersion to the game, um, which is amazing. I can't quite imagine this game back in the day without voice acting. And speaking of voice acting, I think I'm going to put the voices up one more notch because um, it seemed like it was good, but some of you guys were saying the voices were still a little quiet. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Um, just so they're a little bit louder in game. But anyways, let's get to the, let's actually get into the game. I've been talking about it for three minutes and I haven't even played it. Um, so in the last mission, we we rescued the uh, shield generators, or we didn't rescue, but we protected the shield generators uh, from the Sheevan, um, so that we could take them to some sort of facility and implement them into our ships. We got that done, and we also did a tutorial of how to actually use our shield generators properly. So. Let's get into the next mission. I'm assuming things are going to get harder since now we have better defenses on our ship. Boop, 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 boop. It's almost loaded. Ah! The radical Vasudan splinter group known as the Hammer of Light has been conducting many surprise attacks on convoys throughout Beta Cygni. These attacks must be stopped. The Hammer of Light presence is to be eliminated from this system once and for all. Okay, cool. So the Hammer of Light have definitely gotten more aggressive and they were becoming a major threat to the uh, um, the Terran the Terran Alliance. I, I guess that's what we're called. <laughs> they haven't quite exactly explained that. Um, but they're hurting our, our supplies, so we definitely need to stop them. A Hammer of Light cargo depot, which is believed to be the primary supply center for all Hammer of Light activities in the system, has been located. Okay. Cool. They stole some of our supplies, and they have it here. Cool. This depot is guarded by a wing of Seth-class fighters as well as an Aten-class cruiser, the Ramses. The Hammer of Light does not have shielding technology, so this operation should be simple. Okay, cool. So they haven't figured out how to implement shields into their ships. So not even the frigate class ship um, or cruiser class ship has shields. Okay, cool. Your primary objective is to capture the Aten cruiser Ramses. You are to disable and disarm it with disruptor cannons, then protect the Omega transports while they capture it. Okay. 
So disable the Ramses and protect it um, until allied reinforcements come in to take it away and probably interrogate them to figure out what their, their true intent is. Like, we have an idea what their true intent is, but we don't actually know what it is. We just have an idea based off of their actions. Okay. Do not destroy the Ramses. The crew of the Ramses will be interrogated to learn more about the Hammer of Light. Exactly. <laughs> I figured it out before the game actually told me. Once the Ramses has been disabled and disarmed, destroy all cargo in the area. The Hammer of Light cannot be permitted to resupply. The containers store Vasudan supplies useless to the GTA. Okay. So destroy the cargo, or destroy their supplies to prevent them from continuing this operation. Okay. You are to lead Alpha Wing on this operation. Your ships are equipped with our new shielding system. In case of any unforeseen problems, await further orders from command. Okay. Cool. So we are the only squadron, I guess, that's actually in this match. All right. So capture the Ramses as primary objective and destroy the cargo de depot um, to weaken their supply chain. Okay, cool. So we got our mission briefing. Um, it looks like they want us to use nothing but these guys, which honestly isn't a bad idea since now we have shields. I'm a little bit less afraid of these guys dying since they have low armor. Um, and probably using our superior speed would probably help us out. Okay. Hmm. I kind of still want to switch a couple of these out for some of the um, the alpha ones, but we'll we'll go all Vi Valkyries this time and see what happens. So weapons load out. We have our energy cannons to do a massive amount of damage to the enemy, and we have our disruptors so we can use those to disable the frigate. Okay. And then we have our Fury missile. We don't have our new missiles yet, do we? Yeah, these are just the unguided rockets. And then the MT, MTM uh, 50, MX 50s. Hmm. I think I am actually going to do this. Let's give you two those. Um, nope, you take disruptors because this is a defensive mission. And, hmm, actually, hang on. We're going to be fighting fighters and disabling a frigate, so I think having all Valkyries will actually be better. Because we, we don't have a we don't have a point of having a second um, missile, since we're going to be disabling the enemy. I don't think rockets do a whole lot of subsystem damage, do they? 18, 25, yeah, these ones do more. Okay. Cool. Let's get into the game. All right. So, squadron, form up on me. Roger that, sir. This looks like the cargo that we're supposed to destroy. So, squadron, go ahead and destroy my target. Attacking your target. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. It's gonna take a bit to get used to. <laughs> Kill him! Fighter on your tail, sir! Oh shoot. Shields are still looking good. This mission is gonna be a little bit chaotic because I'm trying to get used to a new mechanic. Just a heads up. Match the speed. It looks like those guys have them. All right, cool. Enemy wing has just arrived. Hey. This is odd. Sensor shows shield systems on those Virgo Hammer of Light ships. Oh boy. They did actually get shields technology going. Whoop. Shoot. <laughs> so shields don't don't stop collision courses. Got it. Go ahead and match your speed. Take a missile. Cool. Good kill. Thanks. Um. Alpha. Let's see. Destroy that target. Sir, attacking your target. 
still hostiles in the area. Okay. Whoop. My ally just ran into me. Good to know. Uh, focus on him later. We need to kill the escorts first. Take a missile. Eat missiles! Crap, where'd you go? Oh, he's like right next to me. There we go. Um, let's go ahead and focus more damage on weapons. Our shields seem to be fine for now. Oh, my ally just ran into him. It's pretty funny. Stop ah, getting so close! I can't kill you when you keep getting close. Close. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, I forgot there's a readout in the middle that shows me the enemy shields. I believe that's how that works. Yeah, because the shields are going down when I hit them. Alright, cool. And he's dead. Alright. Boys. Oops. Oh shoot, thing just hit me. Yeah, it's hard to issue orders and dodge at the same time. Alpha, disable yes, the target. Sir. Disabling target. A Seaman Cane class cruiser just jumped in. It's Wait. the Tyrannus. What? Alpha One, do not engage the Tyrannus. Shevans are attacking the Ramses. Mm, Shevans want to destroy that ship. That's Interesting. Okay. Okay. Get out of range. There's a scorpion out here. Yeah, I'm gonna kill the scorpion. Oh shoot. I need to redirect my shields. There we go. <laughs> oh. Take missiles. Get back here. I am going to match my speed with you. That we may run into each other. Die! All right. Okay. Hmm. These missile or these missions have definitely gotten a little bit more hectic. Go. Okay, and back to the primary objective of disabling this guy's engines. Oh, right, disruptors. <laughs> Dang it. Fine. Oh, shoot. Taking too much damage. So it's 7% of those shields or engines. There we go. The engines are now disabled. Alright, everyone, form up on me. I'm on it. Okay. Those engines are disabled. <laughs> Run! Oh god, nope, nope, get away from that thing. That thing is deadly. I think I need to disable his weapon systems. Yeah, because they're trying to destroy this. Okay. So there's a pretty good chance that... Oh, whoops, we're firing everything. Pretty good chance we're going to fail this. Everyone. Affirmative, sir. Attacking your target. Kill this thing. Thank you. Impressive pilot. Thank you. I've been practicing. I've been a good pilot. Leader of the Subani Empire. Die! Die, aliens, come! Alright, so let's disable his weapons. Ugh. Okay, okay. I need to get Alpha Wing to disable. Yes. Damn it. The Shevans have destroyed the Ramses. 
That's what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to disable him. Number one, you must destroy all remaining cargo containers. We can't allow the Shivans access to more supplies. Okay. So maybe that's something I can't actually stop. Okay. And some of you guys said I can use E, which doesn't do anything, to target these things, but they don't actually do anything. Heads up, we have company. <laughs> Destroy all the cargoes. So I believe that's probably like a bonus mission that you can disable the Sheevan, the Sheevan's weapon system, so they don't actually destroy the frigate that we're supposed to capture. Because it didn't fail the mission, we just weren't able to capture him. Hmm. Okay. I'm st still learning about this game. There's still a lot of things to this game. <laughs> It just take a while, apparently. We had a lot more health than the other one. So I am kind of surprised we didn't actually fail that, because that was our primary objective, to capture that thing. But then again, we weren't expecting the Sheeva to jump on top of us, so... Go figure! I need to rearm. Calling in a support ship. <laughs> Come to a full stop and then engage. That's the smart thing to do. Cargo depot successfully destroyed. All right, secondary objective complete. You've done all you can. Return to the Galate. All right, but first let's kill these Sheevan. Taking too long. Boop, boop, boop. Here. Stop moving so much. All right. Let's focus more on engines. Keep up with this guy. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely some things I could have done to make that a little bit better. I could have focused more on weapons. Um, I could have actually disabled that cruiser, probably. Because that cruiser was completely focusing on the, um, uh, on the Taurus. So. That was a kind of a complicated mission. Unfortunately, the Tyrannus has been interfering with all operations in the Beta Cygni system. The destruction of the Ramses, while unfortunate, was not your fault. It is good that you destroyed the cargo before the Sheevans were able to capture it. It is disturbing that the Hammer of Light fighters have shield technology after all. It seems that this rebellion is far greater in scope than we had initially hoped. Yeah, definitely. So if they have shielding technology, then that means that they probably hijacked one of the ships that we were prototyping when putting the, the shield generators in and then used it to um, make copies of it, or used it to um, reverse engineer it to their ships. There's something greater definitely going on here. All right, how was our statistics? 61% accuracy, not bad. Missiles was 88%. Okay. But I believe in order to get a medal for this mission, you have to actually, um, you have to actually capture it. And by doing that, you probably have to disable the enemy cruiser, which will probably call in the hyperspace away, and then you can, you can actually get them. Okay. All right. Let's move on to the next mission. Yeah, a lot of stuff happened in that one. Good morning, pilots. I'm going to get right to it. Ooh. The Sheevan forces are sprouting up everywhere, and it's no secret that our front lines are taking a beating. As you probably know, no one has been able to communicate with them, and Terran intelligence has no leads on their origins or their motives. Mm. On the upside, their shielding technology seems to be working just fine for us. By this afternoon, all fighters stationed on the Galate will have been fitted with them. Try to keep them intact, all right? The cruiser Tyrannus is suspected to be the source of command for the Sheevans in this sector. It's here in the IKEA system, and we suspect it's low on fighters and supplies due to its recent attack runs. 
We have reason to believe it will soon jump to another system to resupply. We don't know where it will jump to, but there is only one subspace node out of Ikea, and we intend to blockade it. Mm. In the interest of learning more about the Slippery Bastards, we're going to attempt something bold. The capture of the Tyrannus. Uh, capture if a cruiser. Off, it will give us an opportunity to study Sheevan technology up close, and bag a few live Sheevans in the process. In order to do this, we will conduct a series of missions designed to take out the cruiser's escorts and defenses. Time to chip away at the boulder, people. That is all. Report to Sweet. your flight leaders for your orders. Dismissed. You get to capture a cruiser. Cool. Initial attacks have gone off without a hitch. The Tyrannus is on her last leg. Delta and Epsilon wings have destroyed most of the Tyrannus' fighter escort. It is time to finish the job. To this end, Terran Command has sent a full wing of Athena bombers equipped with a newly developed stiletto bomb. Ooh, now we're starting to get bombers in the game. Awesome. So we're going to be capturing one of the alien cruisers. Sweet. The Athena is our most maneuverable bomber. It carries a massive payload, yet in dogfights, is nearly as effective as a fighter. Oh, all right. So lots of firepower and still agile enough to uh, handle dogfights. Sweet. The stiletto bomb has now been thoroughly tested back in Seoul and is now ready for use. It can be used to destroy subsystems on any ship and should prove more effective than the disruptor cannon. The electronic seeking device should make it simple to use. Just point and shoot. The Leto homing capabilities are limited, so make sure you get a clean shot before you launch. The stiletto should be especially useful in destroying the Tyrannus' engines and weapon systems. All Athena bombers will be equipped with stilettos and will be piloted by Alpha Wing. Sweet, so we are a bomber squadron in this mission. Awesome! The Kane class cruiser Tyrannus has begun its counterattack. Although we destroyed most of its fighter escort, it managed to call in a repair craft. It is now nearly fully functional. Oh, that's fun. Long-range sensors indicate that only two fighters and three bombers remain to protect the Tyrannus. Okay, so it is escorted by two fighters and three bombers. All right, this looks like our first like full-scale battle. The Tyrannus is heading for the Beta Cygni subspace node, where we expect it to mount an offensive. This only allows a small window in which to conduct a preemptive strike. Okay. So we have until he reaches the node to disable or destroy him. Your primary objective is to disable and disarm the Tyrannus in order to enable its capture. This will be our first attempt to capture a major Sheevan vessel. Three wings will be assigned to this task. Ooh. And we are the bomber wing. Ooh. I have to do management. This is gonna go chaotic. Alpha Wing will be flying Athena bombers. These bombers just arrived on the Galate and are equipped with a new stiletto bomb. The stiletto is capable of destroying subsystems in one hit. Alpha's primary responsibility will be to disarm and disable the Tyrannus. Okay, cool. Our primary objective is to, is to disable the cruiser. And I'm assuming these guys are going to be escorting us and uh, fighting the fighters that try to try to stop us from capturing. Beta Wing is assigned to escort Alpha and protect it from fighter attacks. Mm -hmm. Beta will fly Apollo class fighters. Okay, so Beta has the Apollo class fighters, and their primary objective is to keep us alive. Gamma Wing will fly Valkyries and should engage any hostile fighters and bombers in the area. If needed elsewhere, they can be assigned to any task that you see fit. Okay, so Gamma is going to be um, Valkyries. Their primary objective is to kill any fighters in the region, where Beta's primary objective is to escort us so we can do our mission. Once the Tyrannus has been disarmed and disabled, Omega Transports will arrive and capture it. When the Tyrannus has been captured, you are to return to the Galate for debriefing. Okay. All right, so once we do our job, our, um, we will have to protect Omega um, while it comes in to capture the Tyrannus, and then once that's done, we leave. Do not allow the Tyrannus to escape or be destroyed. Good luck. All right, so do not destroy it and do not allow it to escape. Okay, cool. The primary objective, capture the Tyrannus. Secondary, disable it completely and, dis and disarm it. 
I mean, technically we have to do these before we knew this, but okay. <laughs> so I would say that, well, technically all of these should be primary. All right, so ship selection. We can actually change these to the way we want, but we're probably gonna keep it like this because that's what the game wants. But cool, we got a new bomber to take a look at it. The GTB Athena, type of light bomber. So length is 20 meters. How long is that compared to the Alpha 21 and 16? So it's about the same size as um, uh, the other ones. Um, hang on, for some reason, there we go. I'm just gonna keep this over here so we can take a look at it. So it's maximum, it's maximum velocity is 60 meters per second, which is the same as the Apollo. And the, uh, oh, what are you guys called? The Valkyries are a little bit faster. Armor level medium, so it's the same as the Apollo. It's two front gun, uh, gun mounts and two missile mounts. And a, it's from the Dynamic Metamer, the manufacturer that makes this. Excellent for hit and run bombing. Good speed for its size with a high capacity afterburner reserve. Ooh, okay. So it, can, it has a longer afterburner than the other ones. Interesting. Okay, so weapon loadout. So we have an energy cannon, a disruptor cannon, and we have 160 rockets. And then we also have the, the heat seeking penetrator missile, which does very little damage to hull and shield, but a huge amount of damage to subsystems, which is why it can, you, it can take out a subsystem on one hit. Good to know. Good to know. All right, Beta, what are you equipped with? And Beta, your main objective is to protect us, so I don't know why you are assigned with disruptors. What is Gamma? Gamma, Gamma has the old energy weapons now. We're fighting ships with shields, so we don't need to use those weapons anymore. Oh, we have a limited amount. Okay, okay. Um, well... Hmm. Alright, we'll give you guys all of these, because you don't need disruptors. You're not disabling anything. Disabling the, the ship is my... is uh, our objective. And what kind of weapons do we have? Have the energy... Huh. We have the disruptors and the energy. Let's see, our primary objective is to take out the enemy. So I'm gonna give us all let's give us all eject um disruptors. We'll give you guys actually let's get the Valkyries all energy cannons. Because the Valkyrie's primary job is to um, destroy the enemy. So it needs to have all the firepower necessary to kill the enemy. Okay. And then you guys... I do have a couple more energy cannons I can give you guys. So let's give you all energy. You all energy. And then... Oh, you guys, you're bombers, so you actually can't fit can't fit these these ones okay good to know and you can't fit these because that's a bomber only all right well anyways um i hate to keep you guys hanging but i did realize how long i've been recording and i have a feeling that this is going to be like a five ten minute mission so we're going to go ahead and end this episode here the next episode we will start this and we will try to um uh and we will try to capture the Taurus. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. Please leave a like if you did. If you like what I do, consider subscribing. And I'll check you guys out next time. Until then, this is Captain Sobon signing out. Go on, buddy. Enjoying yourself? You having fun? Isn't patrolling fun? Wanna come over here and watch Frozen with me? No? You're missing out, man. You're missing out.